Welcome to With One Accord, presented by the Houston Chamber Choir each Monday and Friday to renew and refresh us through the power of choral music. I'm Robert Simpson, founder and artistic director. There's an unmistakable moment, one I certainly recall, when after being inspired by the example and achievements of others, you say to yourself, I think I'd like to try this myself. That moment came to Matthew Culleton in 2004, when after a close working relationship with the legendary Dale Warland, he decided to found The Singers, Minnesota Choral Artists, the extraordinary professional ensemble that for 17 years has brought added luster to the Twin Cities choral scene. Matt had plenty of success to build on. He was named the Outstanding Young Choral Conductor of 2004 by the Minnesota American Choral Directors Association, and just the year before, he received the Vocal Essence ACDA Creative Programming Award. In addition to being the Artistic Director and Conductor of the Singers, Matt is Choir Master at House of Hope Presbyterian Church in St. Paul, and a composer with a large and growing catalog with publishers including Graphite, Hinshaw, and Morning Star. He also co-edits a series for Santa Barbara Publishers with his twin brother, Michael, who is the conductor of the renowned choir at Minnesota's Concordia College. To date, the singers have commissioned 70 works and produced nine CDs. Their artistry has resulted in return engagements at the Ravinia Festival, the summer home of the Chicago Symphony and the oldest outdoor festival in the country, along with appearances at conventions of Chorus America, the American Choral Directors Association, and the American Guild of Organists. Their 2010 recording of Morton Lauridson's Midwinter Songs was prominently featured in Shining Star, the documentary film celebrating the life and music of this great American composer. Here is Matthew Culleton to introduce the singers and their performance under his direction. Hi everyone, I'm Matthew Culleton, Artistic Director and Conductor of The Singers, Minnesota choral artists based in Minneapolis and St. Paul. I founded The Singers in 2004, and though we are separated from our audiences and each other during this unusual time, we are in the midst of our 17th season. Many thanks to Robert Simpson and his Grammy Award-winning Houston Chamber Choir for inviting me to share with you all a recording of The Singers. I've been a fan of both Bob and his remarkable choir since hearing their recording Soft Blink of Amber Light, and so I am especially touched to take part in this podcast. I have chosen to share a live concert performance from March of 2014 of Take Him Earth for Cherishing, by British composer Herbert Howells, a work composed to the memory of President John F. Kennedy. Howells composed this piece in the aftermath of the president's assassination, and its premiere took place in Washington, D.C. on November 22, 1964, marking the one-year anniversary of the national tragedy. As many choral enthusiasts know, Howells was no stranger to deep grief, having lost his son Michael, who was but nine years old. The text that Howells sets in memory of President Kennedy was also one that he experimented with in its original Latin while drafting a musical remembrance to his young son Michael called Imnus Paradisi. I hope in this time of global grief and anxiety around the pandemic that this work allows you to pause and reflect, mourn, and find hope renewed.
the Houston Chamber Choirs with One Accord is your one-stop shop for choral joy. If you enjoyed this podcast, help us to continue our mission to grow the esteem and appreciation of choral music by sharing, reviewing, and subscribing to our content. As a 501c3 nonprofit, support from listeners like you allows us to continue to create new and exciting programming. For more information about us and how you can support our work, please visit HoustonChamberChoir.org slash give.